Okay, now in this section, I'm going to quickly review on the different types of NSSs, the four NSSs, like we have seen initially stub. Now stub is simple. If you have some external routes coming from here, what it is going to do is it's going to allow those external routes through the area 20 and then they'll go to area zero. Once I make this area 10 as a stub, it's going to stop this LSA files. The border router says, I'm going to maintain the specific routes. And when it is advertising back to internal routers, it's going to simply advertise only the default route. So instead of E1, E2, you'll see a single default route. That's something what stop will do. Similar way, totally stop is more like the same, but it is going to stop E1 and E2 along with OIA. So in simple, we can say LSA3 and LSA files. So LSA3 and LSA files will be stopped. And instead of that, you will be advertised with a single default route. That's a totally stop. Now the difference between is just OIA. That's the only difference between these two. Now, if you try to verify the NSSA, now NSSA by default says that, uh, by default, you know, whenever you make any area as a stub, it will not allow any external routes to pass through. That's the default behavior of the stub. So that's the reason. So you, you still have a default route for this one. That's something we still have a default route. Plus I want to allow, that's what, I should have a default route just like a stub. At the same time, I want to allow my external routes to go through the stub area as o ON1, ON2 routes. So it depends upon the kind of redistributions. If you're redistributing with E1, it will be seen as ON1. If you're redistributing with E2, it will be seen as ON2. So I want to have a stub. This is more like a stub plus allowing the external routes. In that case, we need to configure NSSA. And at the same time, I want to have a more like a totally stub, totally stub where you can have a default route instead of E1, E2 and OIA, that is LSA3 and LSA files, plus, plus at the same time, I want to allow my uh, external routes through the stub area, plus external routes. We call it as totally NSSA. So finally, we'll see the configuration wise, what is the configuration we need to do it on the stubs. Now, if you are going to configure as a stub any specific area, it can be area 10 or area 20. What is the command I need to configure on the internal router? What's the command I need to configure on the border router? So if you have everything in the same place, so it makes a little bit easy for us to just differentiate the commands. So if you are going to configure as a stub, in that case, we need to give area 10 stub in all the routers, including the internal router, including the border router. So every router of the area 10, it can be 10 routers, 20 routers, whatever the size, we need to configure area 10 stub command. And if you want to configure as a totally stub, which is going to stop LSA3 and LSA files, on the border router, we need to just add area 10 no summary, except that on all the internal routers, we need to still use the same command area 10 stub. If you want to configure NSSA, on the internal routers, we need to say area 10 NSSA on all the internal routers but only on the border router, we need to give a command called area 10 NSSA default information originate. Why? Because NSSA will not generate the default route automatically. We need to do it manually. And then finally, if you want to configure total NSSA, then we need to give area 10 NSSA everywhere on all the internal routers, but only on the border router, we need to say no summary. When we say no summary, it is going to stop LSA 3 and by default, when you say NSSA, it's going to stop LSA files. At the same time, allow the external routes. So when it comes to configuration, it's good to know, you know, when you have these options at one place, probably it makes a little bit easy for us to configure, depending upon the requirement, depending upon the scenario, or if you're preparing for exams, depending upon the uh, question, we can decide which stuff to configure.